Apple. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. I'm a Oh my god, this guy. Hey, uh, you sound really low, buddy. I can't really hear you that much. We're calling Apple. This is John. How can I help you out today? Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, so, you know, I had just uh, recently bought the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And uh, I don't know if there was, like, an issue with uh, the manufacturing or shipping. I don't know what the case is. But um, uh, my box, it did not come with a charging brick alongside with headphones. Yeah, so if you look at what comes in the box on the Apple website, um, it was actually a pretty big announcement that we made it where um, the iPhone would only come with an actual charging cable and that is it. No charging brick and we actually stopped doing the headphones I think last year as well. So you're telling me I spent over $1,000 and they couldn't even give me a charging brick and headphones? Thanks, buddy, for not really helping me. I appreciate it, though. So, yeah, guys, obviously for, you know, brand new iPhone user situation of them not getting, well, not, uh, well, of you not getting, you know, a headphone jack and earbuds, you know, that's kind of annoying for, like I said, new people who are new to the game for Apple um, because then when you get in the box, you don't get all the stuff. Now you got to get a whole separate adapter and stuff like that. So, you know, that's extra money. It's kind of annoying. Um, I guess luckily on my part, um, it's not as much of a, a big deal because I had the iPhone 11, so I had the charging case, I had the earbuds, so it's like not a huge big deal. Um, but still, like I said, for people who are brand new, you know, that's really annoying that they don't include that. I, you know, I think I heard, I think I said, I think I heard them say something about like, oh, they're doing it for like environment wise, but it's like, you know, that's like a shady business practice that they're doing. They're just trying to save money. Like seriously, you guys are paying over a thousand dollars, including my because I'm over a thousand over a thousand dollars for this, and you know you, you couldn't give us like a you know charging case and a um I'm sorry uh, headphones and a charger brick like that's <laughs> that's ridiculous. But besides that shady business practice and BS move that Apple did, um, certainly I can definitely say they did a tremendous job with this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, something very interesting too. Now, to me, this is a huge upgrade, in my opinion, only because of my situation. I had the iPhone 11, regular. Um, it was kind of defective. Uh, there was a bit of, um, I don't know, issues with, with uh, just the way it ran. It was, it could, it, it, it got a little laggy sometimes. It would freeze here and there. Even when uh, my parents had bought theirs, I bought mine like a week later. And for some reason, I was weirdly back up, backed up on updates. I don't understand why. While well, they were like ahead in the future. It's kind of weird to understand, but like, uh, yeah, I had some some weird update issues, um, laggy issues. It, 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 my iPhone was pretty weird. I don't understand why. So when I heard the iPhone 12 was coming out, I was like, F it. I'll just go ahead and get this. And this will be a serious upgrade for me. So yeah, this to me feels uh and looks to me just it is like a real upgrade for me just like look how gorgeous this is Like for reals, you cannot tell me that this shit is beautiful. Like this silver, silver color, this, look at this. This is gorgeous. This build, this is by far the best build quality iPhone out right now. Has to be. Get it through a camera, which is pretty cool. But uh, in other certain people's cases, uh, let's be for reals, uh, every year the iPhone is the same shit. It really is no different. So if you, if, if, if in your case you had the iPhone 11 Pro Max, for example, there really is no need to do a jump for the 12 Pro. Like you just, it's literally both the same shit. In my case, like I said, very different. I had the regular iPhone 11. It was pretty defective. And you know, I jumped to this, this to me, it's awesome. and so big it's a big beautiful phone once again this design is really nice too actually let me put this in a full brightness oh my gosh that's actually way too bright but as you can tell it definitely goes really well. i'll put it up here look at that this phone is this phone is gorgeous man 
especially my background is really nice so it definitely makes it look nice i think you can already tell i had a got a screen protector i actually also bought a, a case on ebay this case is uh pretty nice actually uh, if you guys are interested i'll put this uh i'll put the link in it's pretty nice i didn't wipe it down i think yeah it looks pretty good actually so but yeah to me personally there really isn't as much to really talk about besides you know the design of it is really nice the coloring is really nice you know i get like another camera which is pretty cool but you know to be honest it really does you know feel and act just like my uh, iphone 11 that i had the only difference is that while it was a little bit defective with some weird issues it still flowed the same you know ideal way um the only difference is i get you know a third camera which is pretty cool it's fucking huge which is really cool and it's a 12 and uh you know once again the design is completely more different i mean look at this rectangular design right the other one was you know curvy you know what i'm saying but other than that yeah it's basically another year well not another year technically but another uh iphone that is basically the same every time but yeah guys that's about it uh let me know down in the comments guys if you picked up the new iphone 12 pro max and if you did let me know if you enjoy it let me know if you feel like it is a real upgrade for you um if you guys like this video feel free to subscribe if you want if you guys like the video feel free to like it and also if you guys want to comment down below for any questions you know go ahead and you know any questions or just general talking to me that's cool i always answer to all my comments but uh yeah so uh ladies and gentlemen please take care and be safe